Turning now to campaign 2018, Governor Rauner says he wants another term. He declared in an online video that he is running again. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us now with the latest. Hi, Mike. Hi, it's a two-minute video that the governor released on YouTube, and he's calling it, I Choose to Fight. We can throw in the towel, walk away, and leave our future to the same corrupt career politicians, or we can fight. I choose to fight. And that's an example of how it looks and sounds. The governor narrates the video himself as he drives across the state on his Harley. He's already donated $50 million towards his reelection effort in a race that analysts say could end up being the most expensive gubernatorial race ever. But the governor says the next election is about saving Illinois. He told me moments ago he's the man to do it. Saving the state from what? <laughs> from a corrupt machine that's been taking us down the drain for more than 33 years. Speaker Madigan has had complete control of everything. He's blocked term limits. He's blocked property tax relief. And he put a massive income tax hike on the people of Illinois in June with no reforms. But Rauner isn't running against Speaker Madigan, but ultimately against one of these Democratic candidates, included among them J.B. Pritzker. He's one of the world's richest men, and President John F. Kennedy's nephew, Chris Kennedy, is also on the ballot, along with State Senator Daniel Biss. Now, all are already stumping well over a year ahead of the election. Do these types of campaigns pretty much just force the little guy out? I mean, the money part is the first campaign. It isn't about ideas other than ideas to the people who can support you. And especially at the state level, where we don't have the same kind of campaign finance regulations as we do at the federal level. Um, you need a, a handful of really big backers who are willing to sort of go to the mat and, uh, and fund early. And Rauner could face a challenge from his own party as well. That's because quite a few Republicans were upset that he recently signed legislation allowing state funding of abortions in some cases. And this election, not till November of 2018, so the politicking is pretty much around the clock. I was going to say, let the games begin. <laughs> let the $50 million dollar games begin. Yeah, right. That's huge. Mike, thank, thank you. you.